All right, we're gonna stick with Draymond though. He he's you know he's kind of been in the middle. He's been running his mouth a lot lately. Uh, he was on Kevin Durant's Et Cetera podcast. Good to see that they're back to uh, good friends, although Rob don't really like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, it was just pretty ugly what went down. I'm just it saying. Was like, All right. It was like, it's a bad Durant's, hey, Durant's Durant. a forgiving guy. Yes, and you know what? That's a great thing. That's a, that's a very – that's a great trait. You know what? I wish I was better at it. I really do, Chris. <laughs> Everybody can't do it. Some people are great, and they just – Whatever happens, it kind of goes off their back and they forget about it. Other people, it's harder. Yeah. All right. So, anyway, here's what uh, – they were talking about today's players being soft. I mean, uh, Draymond brought it up and Durant seconded the motion. Here we go. They soft as hell. Man, I found myself this year trying to talk to some of these young dudes that won't talk. <laughs> and they like trying to be a friend. Yeah. But that's what these young dudes do nowadays, man. I don't understand it. Uh, Rob. Yeah. I, I I just this is my thing, Chris. This is not he's talking about young dudes. This is his generation too that he's talking about. Where everybody's so sensitive. You can't say anything. You can't criticize a right. player for playing poorly. Uh they have the AAU mentality. Draymond was the one who reached out after they choked down a three to one lead to the Cavs and begged them to come. That, you know, instead of saying, we'll regroup, you know what I mean? I'll group and come back next year and win. Right. That's soft. So, this whole notion that the younger players, younger than those guys, aren't Chris, the, and, and the players that we covered, they would say that these players, Chris, are soft. Oh, Am absolutely. I right? Absolutely. Are you kidding they, they me? Think, they think that they're soft for teaming up like this. Yes. They really do. I mean, you've heard them. I wanted to beat Patrick. I wanted to beat Isaiah. I wanted what? to beat Jordan. I didn't want to play with him. So, I, I hear, look, I, I do think this gen, I think this whole generation is soft, and you're right, including Durant and, and Draymond. Those guys, I'm not saying right. they're soft individually, but I'm saying this whole generation is just soft. And, and Rob, you said it. In society, people can't. People act like you got to agree on everything. Right. You don't have to agree. It's okay no. to be criticized. And 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 when did when did it become such a the end of the world, Chris? Everybody got to get a trophy. Everybody's got to get patted on well, the back. Every no. You remember when they started giving kids and people, you know, got mad and people said, "Why is it, they're participating tr patient trophies?" No. Why is Chris, everybody getting a trophy? When I played little league and the team, what well, my team finished in second place, right? We didn't get, we didn't. They got a big championship trophy. You know what I wanted next they year? They ran around the field in front of y'all with yeah. it, right? You know what? <laughs> I wanted that trophy though next year. Do you know right. what I mean? Right. That's what I wanted. Right. I don't want to be handed. I, we lost the, the World Series in the little league. We lost. We didn't get a big trophy. Right. But it motivated you for the next yes. year. And the next year ended ended the right way. Next year you went out there and? No, we didn't win last year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fault. I'm sorry. Well, we did. I, I we were motivated, we though. We were trying to win it. You know, like the Eagle Ford Eagles just weren't that good. <laughs> but, Rob, it, it's true, man. I mean, and this is not just sports. It, this they're canceling you if you don't agree with this or that. I mean, come on. People can have their opinions. Everybody's not going to agree on everything. People are triggered by every little thing. And life is not always a bowl of cherries. So I think I'm thankful for some of the obstacles I had to overcome. You know, I'm not saying we we systematically should put obstacles in people's way, but Human beings are human beings, and they're gonna make mistakes. They're going. Some are gonna dislike others. Some are gonna disagree. Some are gonna try to hold you back, and you have to work through it and fight through it. There's a quote, Rob. I don't know if you ever heard this quote: "Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times." <laughs> Wow. Have you ever heard that? No. Who's that? It was in a book um, by an author, Michael Hoff, I think is his name. But it, it, it's interesting because a lot of civilizations 
and societies, maybe not 100%, but a lot of them have followed that pattern, that cycle, you know? Hard times, you work hard, you got to get to a certain space, and then you get there and you can, things are so good, you get a little lazy, you get a little soft, yeah, and, you know, right. and then you, you soften up, you, you weaken up, and now, okay, now, you because you got so soft and weak, times got hard again, now you got to go out there and, and, and create again, so... I just think that, yeah, uh, Draymond, I'm with him. Uh, I do think things are a lot softer. But, but he's a part of that generation. equation, right. Let's yeah. not act like you, you guys aren't. I mean, I just – Yeah. I, the, the, the competitive part is what bothers me the most, Chris. I told you, free agents have a right to do whatever. That's in the CBA. They have a right. But I just wonder, it's the same thing. The Nets have this team. If they steamroll over everybody, they'll win a championship, whatever. But you go like, dude, they were stacked. I mean, that, that'll right, be no, – it is. They were right, stacked. You're absolutely right. I mean, seriously, if they don't win, it's a story. Not if they right. win. Uh, is that a story right. if they win? No. No. And, and you heard Kevin Frazier, and he was right. Right. Look, you're going to have your rings. If, if they win it, James Harden, God bless him, he is a fantastic player. He's going to have his ring. Uh, Kyrie's going to have two. Durant's going to have three. That's great. But Kevin Frazier said it cheapens them a little bit. Now, remember look, it, remember this, Rob, You and you know this. Back in, I think it was 98, I don't, I don't remember what the year. Maybe I, I, I had the year wrong. It was like 2003 or something like that. But remember when Tracy McGrady, Grant Hill, and Tim Duncan, and Tim Duncan all yeah. thought about going to Orlando. Yeah. Now, Grant Hill and Tracy McGrady went. In this day and age... Duncan would have been like, oh, it's so, like we all going there, right? Like it would have been like we can create this super team. Duncan stayed obviously in San Antonio, Rob, and, and it's hard not – I mean, the dude won five rings there. Five out of know? six, hard to right. argue. He made the right decision. Yeah. And, so, and you remember why he didn't go to Orlando. One of the reasons? Wasn't it something about the plane? Yep. They wouldn't allow his wife to travel <laughs> – that, that was one of the stip- – like, for whatever reason, that was a rule with Orlando. Your spouse couldn't fly with the team. Think about that. Yep. That – and you could have had Tim Duncan. Now, it went awry. Obviously, Grant Hill was injured, and, and you know, they never even got Hill and Tracy really together. Nah, it never but, really um, worked out. No, nope. But Tracy and Duncan would have been a heck of a tandem. So, all right, we're going to throw it out to you guys. Uh, you with me and Rob. And, and – I mean, I, I was going to say and Draymond, but Draymond's a part of this thing. <laughs> um, do you agree that the current generation of athletes is soft? And I took it all the way to our society. Soft. Soft. Remember that? What movie? What, what movie, Ron? Life. Eddie Life. Murphy. Our remember that? I and remember Martin it, Lawrence. Yeah. Takes a minute. All right, Brian <laughs> in Virginia. You're on the I couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Brian? Hey, what's going on, fellas, man? Love your show. Listen to it every night. Man, um, thank you. Thank you. That means a lot. Absolutely. Even though we hear it, it's, we appreciate you saying it. It's real. the truth. It's the truth. All right. I, the way I equate it is this. You no, know, players in this generation is not soft, and it's going to continue to go on like that. And what I equate it to is when parents tell their children they don't know responsibility because the parent's job was to make it a little bit easier for their children. So let's say, for instance, one person learns how to cook. The grandparents rub two sticks together to make fire. And they said this is a hard way to do it, and they create an oven. Their children start learning how to cook in the oven, and the grandparents say that's not real cooking. So then the ones that cook with the oven say, you know what, this is a little bit, we can do it a little bit easier. So you're they saying a every generation looks at the next generation as right. had it easier. So it's, it's, it's and, not that they're softer. Oh, man, it's, get off my lawn. Yeah, but they, but some stuff is soft. I mean, I get you. You're right. Like, I mean, like, some people, Draymond's a prime example, Rob. He's yeah. saying these younger guys are soft when the, when everybody else is saying, well, your whole generation was soft. Right. But and the can other we part, agree there is soft behavior, though? I look, at, I look at it like this. If you look at the strength and size, like look at a LeBron, or, yeah, you, people could compare him to either Magic or you can compare him to like a Karl Malone or something of that size, that strength. But it looks. Look at the the majority of the league, or not just basketball, but football. I mean, look at how large and fast and strong but, these but, players but, are but becoming. But let's say, that, Brian. Brian, I hear your point. The only problem I have is that when guys like the, from a competition standpoint, right? Like you, you don't want to be. That's what Draymond was saying. Yeah, it's a competition thing. I I understand about 
modern conveniences and a microwave oven. And you know, Chris, you, you, I'm sure your mom is the, is the same. My mom, I'm not cooking in a microwave oven. Do you know what I mean? Like, right, like right. she wanted no part of it. My mom once told me I better not buy her a dishwasher that she wouldn't <laughs> let Sears in. Like, she was like, I'm not washing the dishes to put into a dishwasher. You know what I mean? Like, like so, My so mom I didn't get, go that far, but I hear you. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But he, but and the, that's the but, thing. Yeah, Draymond yeah. is not taught, and neither are we, talking about physically soft. Ain't right. who's gonna call you know LeBron and and Andre Drummond and 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 you know some of these got Patrick Beverly soft. Nobody's saying they're soft physically. Draymond's not soft. Not, I'm not even saying they're soft individually. I'm just saying as a whole, this generation uh, doesn't you know they're not competing like the past generations because they're joining up so much. That's it. All right. Did we lose him? Okay. Thanks, yeah. Brian. Appreciate it. How about Mike in Tempe, Arizona? You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up? Hey, how are you guys doing? What's up, man? Uh, now, first of all, I got to commend you for opening up a little bit. You know what I mean? Like telling us about your lives. and. Oh, thank you. I, I appreciate that. I, I can relate. And uh, so let's get to it. Um, yeah, they're soft these days. Could you imagine Draymond trying to, like, back down Oakley or Anthony Mason. Right. Yeah, you I mean, the I mean? game so, back then was so so much more physical. Yeah, um, it was and a I, And game. I think it's, yeah, players adjust. Look, if, if most of these players, certainly the really good ones, had to play in that era, they would have been tough physically. Um, and if, if the, and players that era, Rob, if they had to play in this more finesse game, I think they would have adjusted too. Yeah, I, mean, I, I agree, but Draymond saying that, I mean, I agree with him, but he's kind of soft too in my eyes right. compared to like the real players. <laughs> the real players. I, 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 I get what he's saying. Like, it's just different. You know, the NBA, game. The, the NBA was different, Chris. You know right. that. It just – like, you, like we, we watched we watched Jordan's uh, documentary, right? The Last Dance. Yep. Chris, we saw a video. Jordan was getting hammered in the paint. Right. If he and went the to the paint, kids saw that. They were right. Like, My goodness. And then he, he had to he lift get... weights. Rob, he said himself, I had to start lifting weights because I, I had to toughen up for the Pistons. Yes. If you if he wanted to get there, he had to get through them, yep. and they made you pay. That's just yep. the, that's the way the game. It was no. Flagrant! Oh my God, Rick Mahorn, a flagrant foul. No, it wasn't. It was a hard foul, Chris. That's what it right, was. Right, right. It was like, all right. You got two shots. Yep. He didn't say, "Let me go get Patrick Ewing." Exactly. <laughs> he right. said, "I'm, I'm going to lift some weights and get through these boys." No doubt. Shaq in Richmond, Virginia. You're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Shaq? What's going on, fellas? How y'all doing? Doing good, good man. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um. Yeah, man, I can say firsthand, this generation is definitely soft. Um, and it's really like subsets of our generation because I'm, I'm really in this generation. I'll be 30 in October. Oh, but yeah, you, you so, you're think, in the soft generation. Yep. Right, but <laughs> I just think it's a, it's a difference between, you see, Draymond's like my age. I think Draymond's like one of the last of the Mohicans, relatively speaking. But, like, if you think about it, the league is soft because you guys are so young. The league is as young as it's ever been. And... Like, you know, back when I was a kid, like, there were, like, a lot of good teams and then, like, the pretty mid-tier teams and, like, maybe some bad teams here and there. Like, now it's like you're either great or you're bad, but you're talking about, like, he's out there wolfing, like, at 20-year-old kids. Like, and all these kids have been hyped up since they were 11 and 12, never had to right. work for anything. Everybody told them they were good. And it's like they get to the league and so many of them flame out and it's just, like, that competitive spirit isn't there because there's no more grown men really. Like, it's either you're an old veteran like LeBron or you a young star like Zion and, like, the in-between is just – I don't know what it's going to look like in five to ten years. Like, probably well, be five Well, a lot of it, you brought team. it up. I say it with AAU. Like, and, Rob, you've said it um, about all the best players in the city team. Right, up wanted now. to be the best, Chris, right? The, the, right. The, they all wanted to be, like – Hey, you know, that Chris Broussard is the best player out of Akron, Ohio. You know, like, that's right. what you wanted. That was the rep you wanted to have. And now 
the four best players in Akron, Ohio, play on the same AAU team, beat nobody, right? right. Oh, our AAU right. team was undefeated for three years. Of course. You right. had all the best players. And, 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 and it also, like, and you've seen this, uh, the AAU coach can't coach you like the high school coach used to be able to. Because if you're if 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 he yells at you and I, and there's a limit, obviously you can't go overboard like some of the old school coaches used to do. But you still should be able to coach a guy. If, if I but if I take you out today because you're not d'ing up, or I I you you taking bad shots, you're not sharing the ball, and I take you out and you're really all that. Guess what? You'll go play down the street, right? You right. go go in the next join the next AAU team and come beat me. You know, and so now this coach is like, you know, I'm not going to – I'm going to let him do what he wants, but I'm going to keep him on my team. And you're not really learning the game. You're not learning adversity. Rob, you know this. Adversity is a great teacher. Yes, it is. You know? that and you we're, have to we're pick trying to erase up. every little bit of adversity. Of course, you're trying to make things better and fair and equal, but there's still – for everybody, there's going to be some adversity – you can't just get rid of it. That's a part of life. No and, doubt. And um, it helps toughen you up. It's like and when so, you ride, learn to ride a bike, Chris, right? You're going to fall. Right. Like, like right. that. You know that. Everybody who's ever learned how to ride a bike. You, you don't want your kid to sc- scrape his knee or your daughter's Chris to scrape their knee. But that might happen, right? It just might. Right. Right. No, I, I, you're absolutely right. It, I just got a text from my daughter. Justin Bieber coming out with a Christian single. You would approve. <laughs> Is that right? There you go. Is Very he? Nice. All right. I'm going to have to check it out. Little, little Biebs. 